Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on how to reset the Oracle database password for the Informatica MDM. So now suppose you have the Informatica MDM application installed and suppose you have used for a couple a uh, couple of months or a couple of years and after that your password Oracle database password get expired then how you are going to reset that. So consider that scenario how we are going to resolve so we'll see in this today's tutorial so when the any application user or the mdm hub user get a uh, password for that such user get expired then we'll get the direct um, message that the password has got expired but when the oracle database user get a uh, password for the oracle database get expired then we will get a different error let's see what is that error so I, I give some uh, normal my MDM hub user that is admin and the password and if you expand that message you will see something like this you will get the zip error 10318 couldn't get users due to data access error and some other details about the error message and the final message is aura 28001 the password has expired but at this moment we will not able to know which password which password has expired because at the oracle side there are various profiles get created so which password has expired we don't know now so how can we reset so in order to reset we should know the sys or the system user of the database now i forgot today how can i reset the sys user password in order to do that go to the command prompt make sure you have the sql plus installed in your system give the command like sql plus space double quote forward slash as then give the sys tba as a user then you will be log log into that uh, with the means by giving this command you log to the SQL plus as a sysdba even if you use the show user you will get the which user has logged in now I want to reset the password in order to reset the password for the sys you can use this pass w and give the what are the username now it is asking the new password I give the new password it is asking to retype let's retype the password and the password has changed now i record the system user password now the next thing we have to determine what are the profiles we have in the uh in the system or in the oracle database so in order to determine that we need to fire one command and the command is select star from Uh, dba underscore profiles and it will give us a various profiles which are present in the database now if you go so for the better view I just captured that and paste in the editor so we can see these are the profiles we have at the Oracle uh, Oracle database side and out of that there is one property or there is one profile which is called as a password lifetime so it is 180 days by default get configured now we need to alter this one we need to change this so that it will never get expired so how can we do that in order to do that go to the again sql plus and the, give the command like this alter profile so we know these are the profiles at the oracle side default limit pass and the profile name now we have to default limit we have to change for the profile called as a password life time and then we have to give the limit suppose i want to give 360 days you can give that 360 days or if you want to give unlimited you can give to unlimited profile altered now if you if you want to view that 
just click and here password lifetime if you see now i can see it is unlimited so by this way we actually make the password lifetime so let's try to log in now to the mdm hub again and let's see whether it works or not so before that for the safer side what i'll do i will stop my server database uh, application server and restart it so this is my server that is jboss and i am just restarting okay once you reset the password that uh, and after doing the profile update for the unlimited uh, the lifespan for that particular profile the next thing what i did is i restarted the jboss application server so in order to take uh, what are the changes we have made in effect we have done or we have restarted this application server once the server is started make sure your all the data source connections are working fine so in order to test that go to the browser type localhost 8080 because i'm using the jboss that's the reason i'm using 8080 as a port go to the profile section then select the data sources there are two tabs one is data sources and next is Excel data sources go to the Excel data sources select CMX system first then you will find the corresponding properties for that CMX system data source click on the connection and click the test connection button you will get a pop-up saying that successfully created JDBC connection click on OK similarly verify the ORS database connections as I need my local I have created various ORS I am verifying those ORS such as TR, TR2 or the HM that is related to hierarchy manager, management etc or we have the sample MDM ORS as well so once you once you are done with this testing now we are ready to test the MDM hub if you remember we were facing the login to the M to the MDM hub using our user and it was giving the aura error that is saying the password has expired if you are done so if you do, if so far we have done uh, we reset the password for the sys user then we have actually changed the profile to to take its effect as a lifetime and then next we restarted the application we check the database source connection and now we are trying to access the MDM hub if everything is went well then we should able to log into the MDM hub so let's wait uh, for a few seconds to come the MDM up provide the admin uh, user and its a credential And now we are successfully able to log in to the MDM hub. And this is the MDM hub screen. So this is for the two days tutorial to reset the password once it is expired at the Oracle layer. Thank you for watching the video. You can subscribe my channel as well for more updates on the Informatica MDM. Thank you again and have a nice time.